Hi. Suicide is a very serious problem that most of us as doctors often have to manage, no matter where we practice. We all are well versed with the medical part of the management. But how does one deal with a person who is also suffering from a mental disorder or is so stressed out that he or she may attempt or reattempt suicide? Well, we have an expert with us to discuss these issues. So let's hear it from him. To begin with, let me share some information with you to understand suicidal behavior. Suicidal behavior has a spectrum that ranges from fleeting suicidal thoughts to completed suicide. Suicidal ideation or feeling of wanting to commit suicide is more common than completed suicide. Many persons who committed suicide had actually seen their family physician on several occasions immediately before their death without the physician being aware of the person's psychiatric ailment. Patients suffering from psychiatric illnesses like major depression, substance abuse, particularly alcohol, schizophrenia, or adolescents with impulsive and antisocial behavior should be watched and explored for suicidal tendencies. Of these, major depression and alcohol are the most common psychiatric disorders associated with complete suicide. Family history, current life stresses, and physical illnesses should be explored as they can be contributing factors to suicide. The management of a person with a suicidal tendency depends upon whether the person has a suicide plan or not. This can be explored by talking to the person or with the family. If the person has a plan, then do explore whether he or she has access to potential means which may help him or her to complete it. For example, access to firearms, ropes, blades or knives, pesticides or some other poisons, etc. Also assess the person's social support and judgment and whether the person is capable of ensuring his or her own safety. If the person has poor social support and has access to lethal means and is not capable of ensuring his or her own safety, then the person must be hospitalized immediately and kept under supervision. On the other hand, if the patient does not have a suicide plan or access to lethal means and has a good family or social support and is capable of ensuring his or her own safety, we can move on to explore psychiatric disorders or other stressors to plan the management accordingly. For long-term outpatient treatment, we need to assess the patient's mental state and suicide risk at every meeting till the probability exists. The treatment plan, including hospitalization if there is any deterioration in the condition, is formulated with the patient's participation. Chronic thoughts of suicide can be due to a serious underlying illness. So we need to explore this and initiate appropriate treatment towards it. We also screen all patients for depression. Sharing information about mental illness, substance abuse, and the need to keep medications and lethal means in safe custody or away from the patient helps the family cope with the situation better. Finally, we must remember that only a coordinated effort between the physician, patient and the family will ensure a regular follow-up visit and a better prognosis. Problem-solving methods are useful in stressed patients even in the absence of mental disorders. Pharmacological interventions are primarily for treating the underlying depression. Antidepressants like fluoxetine 20 to 40 mg per day can be used to treat depression. Tricyclic antidepressants like amitriptyline should be avoided because of their lethal potential in the event of overdose. If at all they have to be given, then supervised administration by family is strongly recommended and the medication should be dispensed in small amounts. Elderly patients require lower doses. Other distressing symptoms like insomnia, chronic pains and anxiety should also be treated. And finally, I strongly advise that you consult a specialist immediately after initiating the basic treatment for further guidance. Hope this information will be useful to you. Thanks for watching. Good luck. That was quite an insightful presentation. By the way, if you want to know more about depression or the details of medication, since he did mention antidepressants, then please watch our film on depression in this series. 
So see you around. Bye.